Tonight, giving a voice back to those who are unable to speak. Your words in your voice, quickly. The ultimate Christmas present for those suffering from motor neurone disease. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Tuesday's programme with Navtesh Joha and me, Anne Davis. Yes, good evening. First tonight, the gift of speech for people living with motor neurone disease in time for Christmas. An innovation strategist from Rolls-Royce has spearheaded an extraordinary collaboration of tech companies to help improve the lives of those with motor neurone disease. For the first time, people with the condition robbed of speech will be able to access the technology to give them back their voice and personality. So my dad died on Christmas Day 2014 from motor neurone disease and the day he died he couldn't really speak and it wasn't him and I don't want that for other people and that's why we've been working on the Next Generation Voice programme and we're trying to get it out for Christmas in memory of my dad. So Stuart's first thought was to involve as many high-tech companies as possible. Yes. Who's in? And now Next Generation Voice, as they call it, is underway. They've created three technology solutions. One is to bank your voice if you want it to sound like you. Um, another one is to have some kind of information, and as I say, it could be social media, emails, any kind of electronic bank of information of the way you kind of speak. Um, you can take that information and put that into our AI system, and it will interpret that and get your kind of phraseology and your kind of lingo, if you like. So your own voice is recorded, your text messages or emails have been inputted to show how you think, and then Quips can offer you phrases that sound just like you and much more quickly. It feels like it's reading your mind. Everything is just fine, thanks. And it's a huge advance on eye gaze, the technology we're all fairly familiar with. So with the help of Leo, I'm going to show you just how long it takes to actually say a word. We're going to make it short, hello. So as soon as I turn around, I'm going to start spelling it out. Here we go. It actually took 11 seconds to say one word. Hello. You can see why Hello. people don't become part of the conversation. Yeah, yeah. They just don't. Practically, you could be in pain and you can't actually tell people quickly. That would change. But just having conversations and being part of the social environment, you'd be back into that. The NHS are part of this initiative and welcome it with open arms. It's potentially massive um, you know we've got uh, we've got 900 or so people using the, these communication aids out in these midlands right now and i think it, it, whereas the systems right now we give them a voice this will give them the ability to communicate spontaneously so and the best one, thing of all um, it's going to be totally free do you want a drink some tea would be great <laughs> it sounds like me it's my word and that seems like an incredible idea. It's astonishing. And I think, well, they, they believe this. It's just the beginning. So who knows what we might be reporting on in five, ten years, even sooner than that. 